In Nicaragua, a Chinese company is building what is expected to be one of the world's largest inter-ocean canals. Despite some opposition, all sides agree that preserving Central America's largest lake is a priority. Frank Contreras is live for us in Mexico City. And uh, Frank, tell me more about this, uh, this lake. Thanks, Phil. Well, look, if you take any map of Nicaragua, you'll spot it, without a doubt, this massive body of water called Lake Nicaragua. Now, the plan to build this inter-oceanic canal, which will connect the Pacific with the Caribbean, it will include plans to move some of the world's largest cargo ships, ships even bigger than exist now because they're making plans that are forward-looking. And, of course, that means that many of those vessels will be cutting right across this large body of fresh water. Lake Nicaragua is so big, it looks like the sea. It's the largest, most important source of fresh water in all of Central America. Lake Nicaragua has more than 350 islands like that one there, many of which are populated. And the people living on those islands oftentimes make their livings directly from the lake itself. For years, Ignacio Salablanca has fed his family with the money he earns selling fresh-caught fish at a local market. For me, the lake is very important. Because of it, we can maintain our family. The Hong Kong Nicaragua Development Group is building a massive interoceanic canal that will span 278 kilometers across the country and cut through the lake. Right now, the lake is too shallow to accommodate supertankers the canal is expected to bring. A Nicaraguan government official says the project includes making parts of the lake deeper by using environmentally friendly technology. And so this doesn't have to be dredged uh, in the classical sense, but you can suck that up, which is much less in invasive. But many worry that Nicaragua's most important source of fresh water will be harmed by the canal project, including 90-year-old poet Ernesto Cardenal. He spent most of his life writing about the lake and wants to protect it. It would be more advantageous for Nicaragua to sell portable water from the lake instead of exposing it to giant ships crossing through a trans-oceanic canal. Others hope the giant Nicaragua canal will help boost their country's economy. We hope the canal will generate jobs and also assure that the water from the lake is protected and serve us well into the future. Environmentalists worry that shipping contamination will forever change the ecosystem here, but the Nicaraguan government pledges to use the highest environmental standards to make certain this body of fresh water remains clean. It all comes at a cost of $50 billion, one of the massive infrastructure projects taking place in any part of the world right now. And as you can see, one of the major parts, a pivotal part of this project, of course, is Lake Nicaragua itself, Phil. So the, the people are concerned about the lake, and I, I understand they're waiting to hear from the government as to what's going to happen next. Is, is this all enough to satisfy them? Well, there are people who live around the lake. We are told there are at least 400 islands. Many of them are populated, and a lot of people living on those islands and even in the cities surrounding this huge lake are concerned. They're saying to uh, CCTV that the Nicaraguan government has not done enough to inform them about what it's going to do to protect this important body of fresh water. The Nicaraguan government, for its part, says it has a plan that's well constructed. It's thought out pretty much every part of this process and promises to use the highest environmental standards. So it all comes down to whether or not the people will believe the government. The government says that once the project's underway, people will probably begin to see that it's going to be a good thing for their economy, Phil. All right, we'll look forward to that. Uh, Frank, thank you very much.